Hey, this is David, houseparents.com. If you've seen any of our videos, you've probably heard us say at one time or another that we'd like to show you how to do a job yourself so you can save a lot of money in the process. Today's video is the quintessential example of that. Today we're going to show you how we took an air conditioning disaster and changed it into a project that saved us a couple grand. In this video, what we're going to do is show you how we installed this ourselves. All right, this is the new setup. It's a pre-charged line set, which will connect the air handler right there in that box, which will be in the basement, to the condenser, which is this box here, which will be outside. You can imagine my joy when we got to the middle of July and the AC decides to quit cooling. We're putting our hands by the register and there's just warm air coming out and it's smoking hot. And so we had to figure out a solution and figure out a solution pretty quick. We got a five grand quote to just replace the AC side of our HVAC. Uh, we ended up opting for uh, this unit right here, which is a Mr. Cool universal heat pump. The goal of this unit was to replace both our faulty A-coil and lines and condenser unit, as well as our furnace to provide both heat in the winter and cooling in the summer. Heat pumps generally get a bad rap about not being able to work in cold temperatures. Uh, but we're gambling that as winter approaches, that even without a heat strip, this Mr. Cool Universal Heat Pump will be able to heat our house more than adequately throughout the entire winter with no additional supplemental heat. In the video that follows this one in the spring, we're going to lay out for you our heating costs as well as uh, give a performance review on how well it actually did being the sole heat for our house throughout a Midwest winter. This is the outside disconnect. It shows you, you can read the words on right there. When you pop this out, that's disconnected. We flip it 90 degrees and there it says off. And that's how we know that our particular unit is off. If you want to be sure that you've turned it off, we can go to the fuse panel. Here's our fuse panel, and you can see over here on the side, uh, numbers, numbers 10 and 12 are AC. So if we want to disconnect that from outside, we'll just throw this breaker to the off position. All right, there it is installed on its base screwed in, we've got the two line sets, the larger and the smaller, and they go into the basement. All right, here's the Novak line set coming in from the outside. Directly out that wall is where the condenser sits. And the line set for the refrigerant lines runs through, through this uh, utility area in the basement, and then it pops through this wall. And then it, from the other side of that wall, pops right in there. Just a quick connect Novak line set saves a small fortune in labor costs. Uh, the typical HVAC replacement requires the HVAC techs to come in, uh, put the condenser in, put the A-coil in. Once they put those in, they connect them with the refrigerant lines. They flare the ends, have to clean, vacuum out the lines. Uh, they have to then charge them to make sure they're sealed right, take that charge out, and then put refrigerant in. And you can see that's a whole very involved process. Well, Mr. Cool, you don't have to deal with that. The lines come pre-charged, ready to go. And we'll hook those up right inside this area. Next, I just took the screws off at the top here and the bottom. It just pushes down and out. There's where all the connections will be made. This bottom piece comes off. And we'll hit the knockout out here because that's where the pipes are going to go through. So we're bending. This one is a lot smaller, it's a little easier to bend. This one's thicker, so it takes a little more effort. And so we're going to turn the just taking off the upper portion of the insulation so we can get it through with 
less interference. Same thing in this one. Just take off the upper portion. Be careful not to nick the copper. put on the stress relief clamp from the old AC unit. Now we'll go ahead and slide this on. Alright, so that's how we're feeding it through that side plate. One on one side, one on the other, just because we're pretty close to the house right here. Thermostat hooked up, power on, ready to go. Now we gotta go and hook up those same valves on the inside, on the air handler. All right, so what we, what we built here is a, a box, a plenum box. Those bottom boards are green tree because they'll be sitting on concrete. In any potential basement flood, you don't want that wood to get gross. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this in ductwork, tape it up. attached our drain line to the, there's a pan at the bottom of the air handler to, um, for condensation, that's your condensation line, and then it goes to a sump. Attached both of these refrigerant lines. Um, these are our quick connect lines. And then the last step is, like I just did on that one, you take an Allen wrench, it was an eight millimeter on this one and a five millimeter on this one. And you open up the valves for the refrigerant, both on the outside and on the inside and back that valve all the way out. Hope this video helps. If you got anything out of it, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. If you got any questions, be sure and drop us a line. We'll be happy to answer that as soon as we can. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Thanks a lot for viewing and we'll see you next time.